Hello everyone, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss one more example in which we will use normally open contacts, normally close contacts, and also implement some logic gates. So, let's start. Example 5 If switch 1 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. If switch 2 is on, then motor 2 and motor 3 will be on. If switch 3 is on, then motor 3 and motor 4 will be on. If switch 4 is on, then motor 1 and motor 4 will be on. So, for motor 1 to be on, either switch 1 or switch 4 should be on. Similarly, for motor 2 to be on, either switch 1 or switch 2 should be on. And then, for motor 3 to be on, either switch 2 or switch 3 should be on. And for motor 4 to be on, either switch 3 should be on or switch 4 should be on. So, for this, we will use normally open contacts and we will also implement OR logic gate. So, let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example and also do the simulation. So, this is the interface of TI portal. Let's go to PLC tags and then default tag table. So, we have four switches. Switch one and then I will drag it like this. Click on the corner and then drag up to four. So, it will be switch one, switch two, switch three and switch four. And then we have four motors. So, let's write motor one and then I will assign address to this motor one as Q 0, 0.0 and then I will click on the corner and drag up to motor 4. So, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4 will be automatically fast. Then I will minimize the PLC tag table and then I will go to program blocks and then main OB. So, here we will be drawing ladder diagram. So, I will zoom in like this and then I will insert a normally open contact and then I will insert a coil. So, the, this coil will be motor 1. So, motor 1 will be on when switch 1 or switch 4 will be on. So, we will implement all logic gate. I will insert an open branch here and then a normally open contact and then close a branch like this. So, this normally open contact will be for switch 1 and this normally open contact will be for switch 4. So, I will, uh, uh, I will use it as switch 1 and this will be switch 4. So, when switch 1 or switch 4 is on, motor 1 will be on. And then similarly, I will insert a coil in network 2 and it will be for motor 2 and this motor 2 gets on when either switch 1 or switch 2 gets on. So, I will uh, insert one normally open contact, then I will open the branch and one more normally open contact and then close. So, it will be switch 1 and it will be switch 2. So, motor 2 will be on if either switch 1 is on or switch 2 is on. And similarly, for motor 3, I will insert a coil here and it will be motor 3 and motor 3 will be on when switch 2 or switch 3 is on. So, I will insert a normally open contact here and then I will close the branch here. So, these are parallelly connected implementing all logic gate. So, motor 3 will be on when either switch 2 is on, switch 2 is on or switch 3 is on. So, one normally open contact switch 2 and another is for switch 3. So, motor 3 will be on when either switch 2 is on or switch 3 is on. And then there is motor 4 and motor 4, for motor 4 I will insert a coil and it will be for motor 4 and motor 4 will be on when switch 3 or switch 4 is on. So, I will insert a normally open contact and then an open branch here and then one more normally open contact and close. So, one will be for switch 4, one will be for switch 3, 
one will be for switch 3 and the second one will be for switch 4. So here for motor to be on either switch 3 should be on or switch 4 should be on. So when switch 1 is on, motor 1 is on and and also motor 2 is on and then when switch 2 is on, motor 2 is on as well as motor 3 is on and then when switch 3 is on, motor 3 is on and motor 4 is on and then when switch 4 is on, motor 4 is on and this motor 1 is on. So let's start the simulation here. Okay, then okay. Then click on load and then finish. And after that, let's start the CPU here. Okay. And then start monitoring. After that, click on this option to switch to project view. And then let's create a new project here. And then let's go to PL uh, simulation table and simulation table 1. And then right click on this and load project tags. So these tags are being exported here. And then we will start the simulation. As you can see here. When I turn on switch 1, motor 1 gets on as well as this motor 2 also gets on. Motor 1 is on as well as motor 2 is on when switch 1 is on. And then if switch 2 is turned on, as you can see here, motor 1 is off but motor 2 is on as well as motor 3 is on. When switch 2 is on, the current flows through it and motor 2 gets on and when switch 2 is on, the current will flow through it as a result motor 3 gets on. But motor 1 and motor 4 both are off. And then when I turn on switch 3, switch 3 will turn on motor 3 and motor 4. The current will flow through it, motor 3 gets on and the current will also flow through it and motor 4 gets on. And then when I turn on switch 4, switch 4 is connected to motor 4 as a result motor 4 gets on but motor 3 is off, motor 2 is also off but motor 1 gets on as switch 4 is connected to motor 1 as a normally open contact. When turned on the current flows through it as a result motor 1 gets on as well as motor 4 also gets on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.